going on. Today we are doing a IAG AOS install on this 2021 Subaru WRX and we're doing spark plugs. Light. First, take the engine cover off. Isn't it self-explanatory? Cause you could see what I'm doing. And then a little trick that I always do, I just cut the tops off of these. Makes it easier. Don't put that in the video. That was just me joking. It's going in the video. Garbage. And you always save the stickers cause people love stickers. These two hoses are coolant. And then you got the drain at the bottom, the breathers, the PCV. We are also a proud supporter of Milwaukee. No, but Milwaukee, if you're watching, please sponsor me. This is only some of it. You got to really take a tour down in Matt's area. He's really got the Milwaukee goods. <laughs> that battery's not good. Take two. All right, why are we taking out the battery? Well, how the hell are you going to get to the spark plugs if you don't take it out? What do you mean? No, we're taking out the battery to gain access to the spark plugs. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, you should probably let the car cool off too first before you do this. Did you even formally introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Chris. I work on Subarus. I don't unclip the coil packs, which is, I guess is a little weird. I find that those kind of, the connectors break very easy. They're kind of brittle, even though it's so new. So if I can, I just leave them connected. Would Flop them to the side. I didn't break anything, Jeff. Okay. I'm explaining what I do so that things don't break. Clean for it. it's, a, it's a 21. Yeah, you told me it was a 16. I don't know why you're trying to sabotage me. It's the same, right? No, it's not. 15, 16 is different. Is that right? Yep. Make sure you put that in the video, please. <laughs> put it in the video. <laughs> Little tip or trick. Maybe it's common sense. I don't know. Just unplug this, okay? So you don't break it. Because we have seen a few, at least I've seen a few that have been broken. Short King problems. And I always put the bolts back in where they belong so you don't lose them. This is your first uh, video install ever on the channel. The first of many, I'm sure. Yeah. There's a lot of these little clips you have to undo. And you got to be very careful and let's break them. Because if you break them, then the car won't run. Just kidding. I don't know if this is like road grime dielectric. or oil. No, not dielectric. It's like oil. Maybe it's not oil. Maybe it's like that new undercoating that they spray mm -hmm. that sucks. Put this in a safe place up so there are specific steps to do things i kind of just from doing so many of them i jump around but if you go to ieg's website if you don't want us to install it for some reason you want to tackle it yourself you go to their website download the pdf and follow the install instructions i still use them from time to time just as a reference because i'll tell you what they say to do this part before you take the ecu out not like it matters but just saying i'm gonna put the car up in the air and just take that that one hose off the inlet just so we can see what it looks like underneath the car well i'm taking the under tray off now so i can get to the inlet because i'm gonna have to do some stuff down there again so i guess the one that we're after is right here Just gotta remove this pipe. Can you hear now? I gotta be louder. So you just gotta remove the EGR pipe. Don't let it fall. Oh yeah. I know all the secret spots. Got some leaves down here. We going off roading? It's Bradley car. Nature down here. No critters, just some leaves. Some foliage, fo foliage. 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 I use every tool I own to do anything. You change oil, I use everything I own. All of it. There we go. These are the utensils. We're gonna go with uh, this one. Oh, and maybe I'll throw a little plug out there. I don't know if I'm allowed to do that because I don't think we're yet a dealer. Well, I know we're not. I just saw it today on Instagram. Boost Lab makes some pretty cool turbos. It has a turbo for the FAs now that makes like 710 horsepower, I thought it said. Either way, they have a new turbo. Oh, you know what? I get to use my new, my new vacuum stuff. What is, oh my God. This is lit. Yeah, this is for precision sucking. Oh, we got a stiff one though. We, we kind of want a floppy doppy. You know what I'm saying? We don't need it too stiff. Well, that doesn't sound right. Edit that out, please. I need to make sure that the hole's the right size too. I'm serious, precision. You see the leaves? Get a close up on the leaves. Don't tell me it's gonna do what I think it's gonna do. Don't tell me. Don't tell me it's gonna. Oh my God. Dude, technology. This is the world that we live in. I'm upside down. 
Yeah, why is it upside down? Flip the camera. There's the nostril. Ceiling. No, there's stuff up there. Don't do that. What? Oh, it works. Get all up. Again, Milwaukee looking for a sponsorship. You got to remove this capacitor. No, this is just the PCB factory. Ooh, that's hot. I was going to show you how it works. No, I tried to blow. This is getting very sexual, this video. Stiff things and screwing things and wobbly things and sucking things and blowing things. Sometimes you have to get on top. Save this for the customer. And then look at this nice brand new. Yep. So we're gonna put that in there. Probably a torque spec. I'm just gonna check because I love torque specs. Well, it's it's just, it's important. There's a torque spec for a reason. Okay, now what we wanna do is wanna listen for a click. And if you don't hear a click in a while and it just keeps turning, you should probably stop and just double check. Click. One for good measure. See, it turned a little more. Okay, so I put this clamp on first because it's pretty much impossible to get when the AOS is in the car. It's not impossible. Just put it on first for the drain. My tip is, it's not really a tip, it's something you should do. I already checked the threads where this mounts and they look good with the car being so new. So I'm not going to chase the threads, but on EJ's and these ones right here, this, because the one never gets used. This one gets used, but this one doesn't. So like on the EJ's and stuff, it gets super rusted and you go to put the bolt in, it'll go crooked. What usually happens, the end all, is it'll break off in there. Then you have to drill it out. Cause you need that hole. Always check the threads first, chase them if, needed i got myself in a situation jordan i need your help can you please hand me that 10 mil socket and um both of those bolts the shiny ones the brand new ones thank you sir there it is it's gonna be tucked up there all nice then you want to grab tell chris he's doing a good job I'm doing a shit job Bring the camera. Let's go. I would have beat him up for sure. Once somebody sprayed me with silly string foam here, and so I took a fire extinguisher to him, right, Matt? Now, there's a reason I'm going slow, it's so I don't dink that beautiful can. Don't give it the sauce, okay? You just want to, you know, a little bit more than snug, but don't give it the juice. Don't give it the sauce, because then you're going to have some issues. <laughs> it ain't falling out. Now, what you want to do is you want to cut these at a 45 degree angle and leave that spear so the next time somebody works on the car um, they just gouge themselves what if you work on it next well i, I chances are i'm going to be working on it again if it ever needs anything so i'm just gonna whoosh, should cut away from yourself too not towards yourself that was pretty stupid that was like a really funny skit i just did but i i see that they have clamps in the pictures so i don't want to put zip ties on dude i just actually oh, that's a I, I i just had a really good skit didn't i it was that's pretty funny jeff i think i might just replace you not because i'm better than you but because i'm kind of having fun like just yeah, talking and instead of talking to yourself you and talk so, to yes other people. i'm right here I'm yeah a person too. and like i'm not lonely like jordan's here yeah yeah I hate these clamps. It's supposed to like lock and then somebody like just who should remain nameless because it definitely was not me. I take care of my stuff. Okay, see, so yeah, see, this just isn't working. See, if these worked, then I wouldn't be having this issue and you know, it, the car would probably be done. But because somebody, which was not me, broke them. I don't even know how you break them because now I got to try and do this one handed. I'm going to get one shot. If I can't get it, then you're doing it. Oh, got it. Oh, you'd think I'd never done this before. So I hate these clamps. Uh, IEG used to just give you zip ties, which I love zip ties. It's like one of my passions, if you can be passionate about zip ties. I don't know if you guys watched our video on YouTube of our tour of IEG, but we found out why they provide the clamps now so that the, the Cobb AOS can be carb certified. They had to have these specific clamps, very specific. So that's why there's no zip ties provided. I mean, they give you zip ties, but yeah. I swear I know what I'm doing. Not enough. Better to cut too little than too much. Precision. Boom. Yeah, I'm an expert. So I'm sure most people, if they're not having us install it, they will read the instructions. But there's a little arrow, kind of hard to tell. Either way, it's pointing this way, goes towards the intake manifold. It's very important. If you do it backwards, then uh, all your boost is going to just go into the AOS. Well, let me just make sure that the arrow is the right way again. Oh, see? 
I turned it. Now we want it facing down because we want it pointed towards the intake manifold. This keeps all the boosties in there and not in the AOS. Little fun fact about Chris, guys. He loves the Civil War. I do. I mean, I don't like the people dying and stuff. I mean, the battles are probably Sorry. sick, like cannonballs and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, like, just. So if you have a 2017 plus, cap the top. I'm gonna be honest with you, not 100% sure why you cap it. You can refer those questions to IAG or we can find out for you. If you have a 15 or 16, then you cap the bottom. On the EJs, you don't cap, a, not a single one. You don't cap nothing. And get a little gap. Okay, you should be about ready to come off now, right? Just really trying not to, uh, one, break anything or two, hurt myself. Popped. Vent hose with 90 degree fitting. 2017 plus. We're gonna do some spark plugs right quick. Just get these done with since it's like kind of like the lowest point of everything that we're doing. OEM. Not bad. Hey, Chris. Yeah. Where can you get that sweatshirt and hat? And Circuitdemon.com. That is our website, right? Dot gov. Look at this Mustang. Mustangs are cool. That one is a cool Mustang. I'm not really a fan but of Mustangs, but that one. I know. No, I don't like Mustangs in general, but that Mustang, I think you have. Yeah, I think you literally by law, I'm pretty sure you're required to like that one. Okay, remember what I said about not giving it the sauce on those other two bolts? Same with spark plugs. Do not give them the sauce. Just feel for the crush washer to literally crush uh, you know that's a really good analogy I, I would say yeah no don't see it. some people season like ugh, nobody's business you, you don't want to season like that you just want to you want to feel it crush which i did and then just give it some more just kidding could you imagine no like i said it's the porcelain crack and you don't want to crack that i mean if you break like snap the spark plug in half in there then you're you're gonna be in a world of pain technically we're supposed to take this fan out jordan are we taking the fan out that's right not. This is probably why they want you to take it out. No, I'm just kidding. And even, I don't know. Matt, Matt is a, a pretty big supporter um, of me in general. All right, so we're going to lose some coolant here. Not a lot. I mean, don't be scared. You know, I'm not scared. No, I ain't scared of nothing. I didn't forget what you said either, Ben. Don't think I didn't forget what you said earlier. That's what I thought. He don't want the he don't want the smoke. Don't want it. Don't want the smoke. If I'm really good at this. Not one drop will, will come down. Now that was just from the hose from where I clamped it. So that was the excess. <sighs> you get that? Yo, grab um. You can hold the camera and do this. The green can. Give me a spritzer in there. Good. Thank you, sir. Connected. Update, last hose going on, done. Just gotta throw the intercooler back on, and that's an AOS install. We're gonna start it first, intercooler start it first, make sure that there's no leaks. Just cause then if you put the under tray on and all that, and then there is a leak, taking it all off again. You want, you don't want to block anywhere. Well, plus it doesn't look like it. It's an AOS install on a 2021 WRX. 